Hello everybody, I'm going to start a new tutorial series learning you guys C++. Why C++ and not any other programming language? Because C++ is an uh, industry standard when it comes to making games. And I eventually want to make tutorials to teach you how to make games, like 2D games, maybe even 3D games if we get that far, but it's still a long way ahead. And this tutorial series is aimed for people that don't know anything about programming yet, but really want to get into making games, since that's what I'm here to teach you. First of all, we're going to need something that we can write C++ in. And so we need some sort of editor. The editor that, of my choosing, that, that's Visual Studio. Why Visual Studio? What, what is Visual Studio? Visual Studio is a Microsoft app that is a combination of an editor, a compiler, a linker, uh, and a debugger. And basically a compiler that that transforms your code into an exe so you can run it. It basically transforms what you've written into something that a computer can read. Then you have a uh, linker. What a linker does is if you have if you have external libraries so you're trying to make some sort of 2D game and you need code that somebody else has written for you since you didn't want to make all the rendering code yourself then it somehow needs to link that code to your code since it's something that's not in this yeah it's not a project itself so then you have a linker that like links everything together so it can build it correctly and you have a debugger which is really really important since you're gonna do a lot of debugging a lot of debugging that's one of the biggest things that you're gonna do <laughs> but that basically makes it so you can step through the code you can watch how things are happening while they're happening and yeah, it's just a really really handy tool to have okay now the installation of Visual Studio we're just gonna go to Google and we're gonna search for Visual Studio uh, Visual Studio we're gonna go to the Visual Studio website and then we're gonna download the free version of Visual Studio which is the community edition so we're just gonna press Download Community 2015. If, if you're watching this later and it's a different version of the Community Edition, feel free to download that one. Just get the latest one. And like the coding is gonna be the same. Maybe the UI is a little bit different, but I'll probably even still be around to help you out if you need me. Like, if you ever have any questions, oh, let's get it off of my face. If you ever have any questions about C or Visual Studio or anything, I can help you if you ever want to like get a bit further like ahead of the tutorial I can give you some I can like advise you to do certain things I, I'm here to help you okay but now we're gonna continue with an uh, installation so I've opened the installer and now it's just initializing, uh, initializing the setup Visual Studio is a huge program you can make so many different things with it that's why it, the setup is gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while, especially if you select more things that are normally not there. Okay, since I've already installed Visual Studio, I can probably press modify. Yeah, that will show you what you would normally see. This is what you would normally see uh, if you install, if you have not installed Visual Studio yet. Uh, all these different things like are probably a few things that I've added myself in this list but it basically is good as it is you just have to press update or install in your case and that will do it then the installation will continue you're gonna have to wait for a while and yeah everything will be fine after that oh yeah I want to close the setup after that we're gonna open Visual Studio you can instantly do that after the installation is complete and um, we're gonna write some sort of simple program to test if it's working okay we're gonna create a new project since otherwise we can't do anything new project is either on the start page or it's under file oh, I'm gonna do it that way so you can like know for, for later you can also press on file new project that will do the same then it's really important that we select Visual Studio, uh, Visual C++, 
and a win32 console application otherwise we're not gonna have to console and things are gonna be bad things are not gonna work the way that's supposed to work then we're gonna give it a name the name that I'm gonna give it is tutorial zero okay now we press okay next and just finish you don't have to worry about any of this right now just press finish it will make stuff for you and that stuff will work okay if it wants to work okay so here we are we are in a in our first yeah project so what are we gonna do now like if we if we just press local windows debugger so if you're gonna run the program right now nothing's gonna happen it's gonna open a window and it's gonna close the window nothing much after that make it open the window oh, now it's loading some DOLs it might do that for you too but as you can see it's close it's closed already so first thing that we need to do is hashtag include that will include a file so uh, uh, it will include something like a header or a pre-compiled header or something that is already in your system probably already a system right now uh, we're gonna do include in the smaller them and we'll automatically do bigger them and then we're gonna type io stream don't worry about what this means right now just <laughs> include it so we can uh, make a test program that works then we're gonna type std which is a namespace. I'm going to talk all about namespaces in a later episode. C out, which stands for console out. So we're going to write something to the console. Then we'll do a smaller than, smaller than. That means that we want to push something into the C out. So we want to push something into the console. Uh, then we're going to use the double quotation marks. And in that, we're going to type something like uh, hello world since that's always a programmer's first thing to write hello world then we want to push something else into the console and that is an std oh std end line endl that stands for end line also like an enter basically i'm now doing an end line that that's the same as typing std endl or doing the slash n like the backslash n or the forward slash i think it's a backslash backslash n okay and don't forget always always end the line of code with a semicolon otherwise it's not gonna work like it's gonna give you errors and now if you press either f5 or local windows debugger f5 is a shortcut for running the debugger then it will run a program but as you can see, it like it didn't even give me time to drag the window from my face over to my main screen. Like it just ran and stopped. That's because uh, normally code just it just runs and eventually gets to an end and then it just stops. It doesn't keep the oh god pop ups. It doesn't keep the window open, but we right now want to keep the window open. There are two different ways that we can do that. We can either press Control F5, which right now the only thing that you need to know is that it will wait at the end of the file, uh, at the end of the uh, uh, program. It would stop and wait for key, key press. So that's what I've just done. Now it says press any key to continue. Or we can add another line of code called System, then opening with a uh, yeah curvy brackets and then once again the double quotation marks and then we type in pause and once again we end, this, well, end with a semicolon okay now if you press f5 you will see that it will do the same as it did oh, only in a different font okay that's annoying it's a little bit tiny but if you can see it it says hello world and then press any key to continue dot 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 Basically, what this does is it's the same, but it will not skip some sort uh, some of the debug things that it would otherwise skip. But if this all worked fine, then it was the first tutorial. Be ready for the next one; it's gonna be uploaded soon. 
and in that we're gonna talk about uh, probably just functions how they work and the different types of uh, variables that you have maybe for yeah just first the variables and then we're gonna talk about functions in another one basically we're gonna get you up to speed really quickly goodbye